Greetings, pilots and passengers. It's been a while. I've been working on some new content, so it's on the way, don't worry. Today I thought we'd look at a little article I found that is quite interesting, uh, focusing on, as we know, at the moment there is this big push for uh, synthetic meat, or just, you know, cutting out meat in general and, and turning to products that are synthetic. Usually it's made up of soy, which has been linked to a, like poor health and things like that. So I thought we'd take a look at this little interesting article I found from Natural News. A compound in soy has been found to turn male fish into females. And this is uh, just really backing up what people have suggested about soy that it's a very feminizing you've seen the whole thing about soy boys so here we go so japanese researchers apparently have discovered that male fish which were fed soy isoflavones which americans also eat eventually turn into females soybean compounds mimic female hormones to such a degree that consuming them regularly as many people do chemically damages male hormones like testosterone, effectively turning them into female hormones like estrogen. A lot of people are actually in soy-based products at the moment, more than they used to because it's being pushed as a health food and they're eating soy, it's, you know, it's a great source of protein and it's really good for you, it's really healthy. It's better than eating meat because of, you know, levels of cholesterol, which the whole cholesterol theory in itself is just a theory it's there's real no real backing to prove that cholesterol is responsible for causing heart disease and such but yeah lots of people are eating soy and turning away from meat just because mainly what is being pushed in terms of the media and the vegan diet and stuff like that so the associated study is the first of its kind to evaluate the effects of soy isoflavone consumption Every male catfish that was fed the toxin eventually turned into a female. The seafood industry is now doing it on purpose, apparently, to increase productivity. So as it turns out, female catfish tend to grow more quickly than male catfish. So corporations are intentionally pumping up the males with soy to turn them into females. Now, does that not sound a little bit too familiar with the things we see today in society? I'm not just talking about the catfish here, I'm talking if we take a look at the whole feminizing of men, encouraging men to be in touch with their feminine side, so to speak, and you look, there's nothing wrong with that, you can do as you please, but this huge thing about toxic masculinity and the feminist movement and all that, it's a bit similar to this in some ways of, you know, feeding people soy to feminize them, just like these catfish. Though it has been known that administering female hormones turns male catfish into females, the method is banned for fish for human consumption. It's a big no-no, but instead they're using soybean isoflavone, which is sold commercially as a dietary supplement, so it's doing the exact same thing, so they found a loophole a way to get around it basically. Soybean oil is also a problem but for a different reason because it contains compounds that cause dysregulation of the oxytocin system which leads to disruptions in empathy and social bonding. So it makes you just unable to really function as a person socially. Like if you're going to use any oils or anything like that, vegetable oils and soybean oil or whatever is the worst thing you can be putting into you. Ideally, you would just be sticking with butter and or something based in animal fat, such as beef tallow, which um, is very nutritious for you. Instead of going for these, you know, completely processed crap that is just going to clog you up, not worth it. This is perhaps why many Americans no longer have any sense of what it means to love others or demonstrate compassion instead choosing to pursue selfish gain while steamrolling anyone who gets in their way. I would agree with that in terms of the division and say if you have no understanding of social bonding or your empathy is in some way poor, <laughs> then you're probably going to be more focused on emotion rather than facts and logic and not really think very clearly, which I'll be honest, we have seen over the past year or so, but what am I to say? can't comment on that. <laughs>
it is a sad state of affairs that could be a result of what Americans, obviously as well, I'd say UK based as well here in the UK, uh, what Brits are eating, which is destroying their bodies, brains and emotions. Scientists actually studied the effects of soy consumption in mammals, particularly monkeys, and found it caused unhealthy aggression, bizarre submission, and antisocial behaviour. Lads, 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 lads. Does that not just sound completely familiar? Where have we seen, you know, aggression, complete submission, and antisocial behaviour? Does it, you know, ring any bells? All around us, we are seeing the effects of this, as this article says, on the human population, especially during the past year with the C-19. Many are lashing out against others for not, for example, wearing a mask, whilst blindly submitting their bodies to the likes of Anthony Fauci, Matt Hancock, and friends. Many of these people seem to enjoy hiding, behind a covering while avoiding all human contact rather than engaging in healthy social behavior which this article suggests could be partially influenced and affected by the consumption of soy these results should be cause for alarm for one simple reason soybean oil is the most widely consumed oil in the u.s the authors of the monkey study found Indeed, there has been a 100-fold increase in soybean oil consumption during the 20th century, so soybean oil is absolutely everywhere, in processed foods, which make up a significant portion, even a majority, of, of the diets of most people in America and much of the rest of the developed world. So it's not just the US, it, we're, talk, probably, you know, we're talking the UK as well. I mean, if you go take a look down the Blooming Vegan Isle in, say, Tesco's or something, it is absolutely jam-packed, and all of those products will contain soy. Another negative effect of soy consumption is plummeting fertility rates. So, the world at large is undergoing a paradigm shift when it comes to reproduction. And much of it can be blamed on what people are eating and injecting into their bodies in the name of science. Here, the article goes on to say about the jab and processed foods and pollution, humanity as a whole is now on the chopping block for mass extinction and i am inclined to completely agree because we're messing up our bodies a lot of um disease and illness can easily just be resolved by lifestyle change but of course that doesn't make much money um it doesn't really play into the plan of big pharma and everything they're about so you know they they don't promote that what they promote is pills that will keep you sick um a poor diet so you're constantly just gonna be ill and tired and then obviously by polluting the earth make us even more sicker and spray crap everywhere as well so yeah it's going well franken food is all a part of their scheme so a commenter said at summit news the left claims to love the science but denies dna and the sun democrats will do anything to grab power and upend western civilization not just democrats but you know far left too Another pointed out that this type of soy long consumed in Asian countries is non-GMO fermented, while the soy consumed in the US is GMO um, sprayed with deadly toxins and raw, which makes it poisonous. It's ridiculous that people are still eating this crap when, you know, the best thing you can do to stay healthy is just completely change up your diet and just generally your lifestyle, what you get up to during the day, like exercise, especially getting good amounts of sleep and also spending time in the sun and getting you know a good amount of vitamin d keeps you healthy but of course like we've repeated ourselves time and time again that is not good for big pharma they do want they don't want to promote that so nah what you want guys is to be pumped full of drugs but and I gotta say, who is the one person promoting all this bollocks about soy? And I'm sorry for my language, but the guy at the head of this is Bill Gates. And of course, Bill Gates is built like a Greek god, guys. He is the peak of male masculinity. My guy is, you know, he knows what he's talking about. When he's, you know, buying up all of the farmland in the US especially you know what it's gonna be for soy and he's gonna be growing soy and he is going to be at the forefront of soy farming and soy based products and you know why because 
he wants everyone to turn vegan or plant-based in some way. My guy Bill Gates says that countries which are rich should only be eating beef which is fake. Get rid of meat, get it out, we don't want that, we want that fake crap, we want to be in cardboard. He, you know, Bill Gates, we trust him for everything, so you know this man is completely right when he looking like this. A summary of the article quickly, he basically says if we're gonna get around this, you know, climate crisis that everyone keeps whinging on about, developed countries should only be eating beef, which is 100% synthetic. Because you know why? Cow farts. Cow farts cause climate change and global warming, according to these sorts of people. I don't think that poorest 80 countries will be eating synthetic beef. I think all rich countries should move to synthetic beef because it'll help over time. But of course, these people won't be probably eating soy, or will they? I mean, with the state of Bill Gates, he probably does eat soy and is a soy boy, but what am I to say that in his spare time he's not eating a panda? And like this article goes on about is cow farts, which is the biggest load of rubbish ever for the climate change argument but of course it's Bill Gates so they're not going to question it. But yeah Bill Gates and his little friends are all pushing for this huge move to synthetic beef which you know it's going to be great for everyone involved isn't it? I mean you take a look at the packaging on Impossible Burger all the ingredients they sound really tasty versus eating just 100% beef and nothing else but you can't say anything these days so you know I'm probably just wrong like everyone else who speaks out about this sort of thing but well I mean what do I know eh? let me know what you guys think down below in the comments thank you for watching today's video hope you all have a wonderful wonderful blessed day guys if you'd like to support the channel please do subscribe to Dare to Fly today and get ready to take flight like and share this video with others if you'd like to support the channel even further guys there's the links to my coffee page and my paypal which are down below in the description box if you'd like to donate and support the content that i create just a heads up on some really good news is that i now have an actual role at the daily exposed website now i'm writing for them so if you'd like to check out the daily exposed please do go ahead they're a really great site some really good content on there uh, so do check it out stay true stay awake and as always stay blessed and you always know the drill guys, fly high, fear less.